Presh Talwalkar says that a computer cannot solve this problem, but I think Presh is using the wrong software. So in this Mathematica tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Mathematica to do this problem for you and how to think about it um, using your own mind. Uh, I haven't watched the whole video. I'll watch it after I do this. So here I've got some um, just little pieces of code. So here I've got the base written, then I have the exponent written, and then I just write solve uh, a to the power of b equals equals 1, and I put in reals with an uppercase r. I'll take the semicolon off and I'll run that, and we get the whole collection of solutions, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. They're all integers in this case. Now what would you do by hand? Well, there are a number of ways that you could get a to the power of b equals 1 when you're only talking about real numbers. The first case is when the exponent is 0, right? So something to the power of 0 always gives you 1. Um, the second case is when a is equal to 1, so 1 to the power of some other real number uh, is going to give you 1. Similarly, the tricky case is if a is minus 1 and b is even, that also gives you 1, as in an even integer. Okay, so the way we could do this is we could factorize the exponent and look for roots of the exponent. Um, or we could just say solve b equals equals 0 for x over the reals. Uh, and that's case um, 1. Okay, so let's have a look. So that returns x minus 6 times x minus 7. And we get the two roots 6 and 7, right? So we could also write solve b equals equals 0 uh, for x over the reals. And we get the same thing. Okay, likewise, um, in case 2, we would want to solve a equals 1 for uh, x values that are real. Or we could just factorize um, a minus 1. Let's try that. So we get x minus 5 times x minus 2. So the roots are 2 and 5. And in the last case, we want to factorize um, a plus 1. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we have x minus 4 times x minus 3, and so our roots are 3 and 4. Collecting all these together, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 as the collection of roots. Okay, but we have to check um, if the exponent is even in the case that we have 3 and 4. So that's precisely what I'm doing here. I'm replacing x with 3 in the exponent b, I'm replacing x with 4 in the exponent b, and I have an and between those. So basically, if those are both even, then return true. Let's try that. Okay, so we've got true, so that tells us uh, that 3 and 4 are valid solutions. Okay, here's another way to check that once you know the solutions. So I have entered um, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as the list s. Then I built functions lowercase a and lowercase b to be the base and the exponent. And f is the function that returns a to the power of b. And then I use the map function. I apply that to the list s. Okay, in shorthand, that's a slash and then the at sign. And then let's run that. And you can see I get all ones. So that verifies that, this, uh, that each of these numbers satisfies that equation. That's all I have for you for now. I'll see you next time.